Hello everyone, Jen Obvious back with another Unity tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create a UI menu with image, buttons, text using Text Mesh Pro. So let's get started. First thing you want to do, game object, UI, canvas. And it's going to be huge. You're not going to be able to see it. Go over to render mode, switch that to world space. Since we're going to be adding buttons to this UI canvas, we're going to add component and a VRC UI shape. Next, change the layer to default. Now we can resize this huge canvas down. Okay, we've got our canvas size down to the way we want it. Uh, next thing you want to do, if you want to add an image to it, you can go to UI image and then go ahead and size that up to your canvas. And we'll go about right there, that looks okay. And in order to add an image onto this, you have to have it in a Sprite 2D form. So, make sure up in Windows Package Manager that you have the Sprite 2D installed. And I've got a texture down here we're gonna put onto this image. All right, so click on your uh, imported image that you um, want to use. You're going to go up to Texture Type, Sprite 2D, Sprite Editor, Apply. Go ahead and move that down, back up again, hit Apply, close that out. Now you can add the image into the source image here, and it'll show up on your Canvas and UI menu. Great for making like a welcome board or something like that. All right, so the next thing you want to do is we want to add some text to it. UI Text Mesh Pro. It is going to give you this pop-up and ask you to import TMP Essentials. Go ahead and do it. This will not affect any worlds with the SACFlight system, but I advise against clicking on this. Do not do that if you're using SACFlight. Go ahead and close that out. Now we can have our text on here and let's go ahead and we can move it uh, anywhere we want. And it comes up nice and sharp. Nice sharp text. Uh, we'll just go welcome. Welcome to uh, welcome to the flight world. It's a little big right there. Let's go ahead and size it down. And you can also use these boxes here to adjust your text. Oh, I spelled world wrong. All right. And then we can adjust the text however big you want it. Alignment, you can do alignment, you can uh, change the color, a lot of stuff you can do with the text. And move that anywhere you want. All right, so that's how you put text on the board. Now let's put a button on here. Uh, let's put a button right down here. Game object, UI, button text mesh pro all right so this, we got our little button there make it bigger whatever you want to do with it change the color oops let's go there 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 we go uh, you can change the text um, toggle whatever Make the text white so we can see it and change the font size all right so this is a button down here let's click on button and you set the navigation to none all right and then you can add a udon behavior and if you want to make it a local toggle or a globally sync toggle, uh, refer to my other videos and I'll leave a link in the video description below. Uh, it shows you how to do a globally sync toggle or toggle 
uh, something on and off. Okay, but we've got our Udon behaving here. We're not going to write a new program right now. Uh, check out the other videos that explains how the Udon behavior works on that. Um, but we're just doing a UI menu. All right, so we're not done yet. We got a button here and we want it to activate something. So let's go ahead and click this right here, plus symbol. Uh, you want editor and runtime. We're gonna take our button and we're gonna move that into here. Change this to Udon Behavior and Interact. All right, so our button is all set up and we should see our arrow. Let's go ahead and save this. And we should see our arrow when we play it uh, for the player to click the button. All right. So, oops, over there. Didn't realize I had put it so far away from the spawning area. Yep, so let's move over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> And it's a pretty big menu right there. I should have put it, should have resized it down a little bit more. And that's how you do a UI menu with a canvas, image, text, and a button. And that's it, guys. Uh, as I said, check out the other video links below, and it'll show you how to do the globally sync or, or toggle an object on and off, and that will help you with the Udon behavior. All right, great. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.